Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here and welcome back for another EVE Online video and in this video I kind of want to give you guys an update on the uh, travel fit, the fit changes that I've done to the Orca so that I can use it a little bit more easily to travel around uh, when I'll move to another spot. So at the moment I'm still in Rennes and according to you guys, uh, or at least a lot of you guys, all I really have to do is put in a micro op drive and put in a cloaking device and that should really help. And I actually think that uh, a couple of the comments rang really true. Try to keep a lot of your uh, tankiness uh, still in the fits because it's really important if you do get ganked that you've got a decent amount of uh, HP. Now I had to take out the uh, shield extender because otherwise I didn't have enough power grid. I wanted to do um, the EM shield amplifier first but yeah not enough power grid to uh, keep the uh, Kaldarin DV large shield extender and the micro drive. So this is the fit and uh, yeah let's go and take a look. We'll undock and we'll, uh, we'll try to, uh, to use it uh, to put it through its spaces and see if we can indeed align a little bit more quickly or no get into warp a little bit more quickly. So the first thing that I'll do here is we'll just go to a system. Um, a boot button is usually where I go to where the hell is that gate there it is press warp and then um, you guys told me to do like a, a one-off uh, now I would also activate this uh, like a one-off burst of the micro warp drive let's see if this worked hmm here ooh that is nice though look at that speed jump I don't think I should do a second one although my aligning itself is taking a good amount of time so this is this is almost like almost like a 180 degree turn and I am at full speed uh, pretty much immediately so this is decently impressive although it is still taking me a little bit of time you can see here we're still basically uh, establishing our warp vector should be done momentarily and there we go we find ourselves in warp that definitely felt better than the full aligning and try to get to the sun that we did on the previous fit but i think the real gains should be when i go from uh, this gate to uh we'll we'll just take another gate on this one and then we'll make our way back so that we can do another 180 with the testing and the main reason for that is you're generally more aligned towards the center of the system anyway so you'll have to do a lot less turning in order to go uh, from one gate to the other and I have this prototype cloaking device. Hmm, can't use it while I'm in warp, of course. But uh, I think uh, after taking a gate, there should be enough distance. And that, that can also help keep you safe uh, if you activate that. Now, I'm not really sure which I should activate first. So I'm thinking the micro drive, drive burst is the most important. So we'll do that first. And then I'll try to activate my cloak. So here we go. Orca goes through the gates. Um, let's say that there's some some bad guys around here we want to be as fast and as safe as possible so I'll take uh, all that trick where the hell is all the trick or something that's decently aligned maybe we'll take hmm, the Sun is not really decently aligned here Osegur is out of the way as well so I'll just do a warp to this one that is decently aligned and so I've click warp to then double click on this one and then activate cannot do that while warping hmm so that was probably the wrong oh and ooh, lots of uh bad caracals coming to the gate what the hell is happening here <laughs> a fleet including uh quite a few suspects all of a sudden on the gate but look at that fast warp out that's that's pretty good that is definitely helping so now i'm going to um press stop so that i don't take this gate and then we'll try another full 180 back towards Rens and see how that feels. And then on the last warp, what I'll try to do is, I guess, click this one first. But then, hmm, you guys will have to explain to me in the comments what the cloak plus uh, micro drive trick is. For the micro drive, that's pretty damn straightforward, uh, especially when you're decently aligned, you are quite fast. Uh, with your acceleration thanks to that and you get into warp a lot more quickly so here we got a providence that's arriving as well i'm actually going to make my way back so now we get another 180 test you could say so let's click warp on that one then we'll do the micro drive bursts kind of want to activate these as well 
and then let's take a look at that so here again we're establishing the warp vector and then my speed jump Ooh, we're, we're right into the correct speed and we're already aligned as oh that's super impressive look at how fast i'm actually in warp here that is very nice just a straight up cycle i was at warp speed i managed to align super quickly here i guess because nothing was in the way or something and uh, already in warp i expected this to take a lot longer considering we had to do another 180 here but that worked perfectly and then i'm really not sure what uh, i should do with the cloaking device i'm going to try activating it and then quickly clicking on the microbe drive maybe i'll actually put it right next to it for that test um, as we get back to the station here so oh and here's actually some fighting happening as well all right very interesting <laughs> so these caracals what the hell are they doing they are actually fighting now with a catalyst we're actually going to take a quick look at that i don't think that they have enough to actually take me out or anything like that there's someone just blew up what the hell oh the catalyst is going after these criminals that is cool anyone else? yep there he, there he goes again going after the next caracal look at that Yularen Tarkin, very, very nice. He got another one. <laughs> Let's watch this fight. A um, hundred people here in a boot ban. I must also say uh, that uh, what was quite noticeable is that we had a lot more uh, activity around here, around the Rens and the Minmatar trade hubs. So the catalyst is trying. And what the hell is that one doing? A curse is also uh, trying to nude him. Ooh not in range anymore unfortunately so i think that this one will be able to go to warp but they're going after these criminals that is very interesting he's actually still fighting still going and is that that's pretty cool skin no he's he's caught again as something blew up here is that the um, destroyer so that was the galente destroyer but now he's caught by a curse is being engaged as more <laughs> more criminals including a hurricane and another caracal warp to the gate and actually take the gate right away what the hell is happening here total pandemonium with a gang of criminals that's actually still fighting against this curse kind of wonder if he'll be able to normally he should be able to break that tank pretty easily i'm gonna keep a quick eye on anything else around my orca but that's still okay and so this one is now engaged. Uh, an executor here warping off after doing some bad stuff. And so now the curse should. Oh! The curse is in armor. And now he's actually caught by the caracal. Let's see if anyone else comes in to try and help him. There's another catalyst coming in at 2000 meters. Hit someone else, he takes the gates. And so this time it's actually the Caracal that has caught the curse. It's taking big hits. Definitely in armor. <laughs> oh my god, this is actually a pretty cool looking fight. And so this is Gandhi. Statil. That's, um, yeah willing to take a fight here quite a bit of chaos actually some drones that have been dropped hammerheads too here as well that are not moving and do we get to see exactly how this fight will end well the curse is actually running away trying to get out of dodge here so that is definitely interesting and here comes another caracal is he going to engage uh, the curse is actually leaving the battlefield oh man that caracal held on very very impressively anyways let's uh, let's finish off our um our experiment here we were actually for here for uh, for our orca and so on this one i actually need to go to this station so I'm going to do a dock order and then I'm going to try clicking this and this. Does that work? 
Yeah, but I couldn't... Ah, I clicked too quickly, I think, for the cloaking device. Well, let's do this again. So now that ends. Zip, and I am gone. Ah, this is such a good tip, guys. Uh, this is super impressive how much um, time I'm going to save now traveling around with my Orca. And it's all thanks to the microbe drive. Kind of neat, the compact one, uh, because the rest of the fit takes up a lot of my power grid. But this is this is perfect. Um, and uh, I like the fact that we still have strong resistances, a good amount of HP. So this should be decently safe. So yeah, there you go, guys. This is going to be the refit for traveling. Thank you very much for all of those comments. And if you can explain to me the cloaking plus microbe drive uh, trick there, I would love to hear that as well. As another caracal looking for trouble on the station here thank you very much for watching and i'll see you all next time